Welcome to the Lakers News Today channel. Take the opportunity to leave that like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go to today's news. Hey, Arden Lakers fans. Veteran powerhouse Harry Giles III, known for his time at Duke and a first-round draft pick, surprised everyone by becoming the latest addition to Los Angeles' roster. With a two-way contract at the end of the season, Giles is ready to showcase his talent and experience. According to the latest market movements, Giles has signed a one-season contract for the remainder of the year with the Lakers, providing an exciting turnaround for the team. This strategic move puts Giles in the position of becoming a restricted free agent after the season, adding an extra layer of suspense to the equation. Not only was this move surprising, but it also strategically replaced another veteran, Dylan Windler. Windler, known for his outstanding experience, left the Lakers by signing a new two-way contract with the Atlanta Hawks. What does this mean for the future of the team? How do you, a Lakers fan, see this move? Leave your opinion and let's discuss the next exciting chapter of the season. Hashtag Lake Show Opinions The Los Angeles Lakers are facing a bit of uncertainty heading into Sunday night's clash against the Minnesota Timberwolves. The dynamic duo of LeBron James and Anthony Davis is listed as questionable, with LeBron dealing with left ankle peroneal tendinopathy, and Davis nursing left shoulder soreness. On a more positive note, Cam Reddish is likely to hit the court despite a right ankle strain. The Lakers have been dealing with a string of injuries, with Gabe Vinson, Christian Wood, Colin Castleton, and Jared Vanderbilt all sidelined, and no definitive timetable for their return. LeBron James, who received treatment on his ankle during the All-Star break, missed the Lakers' first post-break game against the Golden State Warriors. Although he's been a trooper playing through discomfort, he had to sit out Friday's game against the Milwaukee Bucks due to the severity of his ankle soreness. The Lakers managed to secure a crucial victory without him, but his return to the lineup remains crucial for the team's success down the stretch. Anthony Davis, battling through an Achilles issue, added to his injury list when he injured his shoulder against the Bucks while attempting to take a charge on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Despite finishing the game, its impact was limited due to the shoulder discomfort. With a challenging matchup against Rudy Gobert and the Timberwolves on the horizon, Davis's status is a key focal point, as he aims to contribute to his team's success. Fortunately for the Lakers, Timberwolves star Carl Anthony Towns is sidelined with a knee injury, offering a bit of relief. As the Lakers navigate this injury-laden stretch, the question looms, will LeBron James suit up against the Timberwolves, or will he opt for additional rest? Managing the pain is paramount at this stage of the season, and while James's ankle soreness was labeled as severe on Friday night, his resilience is well documented. The short two-day turnaround may present a challenge, but if anyone can make a swift return, it's the king himself. What are your thoughts on the Lakers' injury situation, Lakers Nation? Share your opinions.